The Philippine Air Force is desperately seeking new fighter jets for its frontline security forces. It currently operates 12 Korean-made F-A-50 trainer light attack jets. The Philippine Air Force is scrambling to catch up while working within a limited budget to replace aging defense capabilities. It now operates the F-A-50 fighter jet, however the Philippines is actively hunting for additional modern fighter jets. The Tejas aircraft, built in India, may be suitable for its requirements because it is already in use by the Indian Air Force and has proven technology. It was proudly displayed at the most recent airshow, complete with an incredible aerobatic display. PAF is now looking to expand its fighter fleet and is considering placing orders for 12 more fighter jets under its MRF acquisition program, for which it is negotiating with Lockheed Martin for the F-16 Block 70 Fighting Falcon and Saab for the JAWS 39 Gripen C. However, Philippine National Defense Secretary Delphin Lorenzana stated that the F-16 cost is prohibitively expensive, fueling speculation that the Gripen will be the front-runner for the contract. However, the recent sale of a Gripen E to Brazil confirms that its fly-by unit cost is around $80 million, and even the much smaller C version costs around $65 million, prompting PAF to consider other options. The Philippines is in debt as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, and the Philippines Air Force desperately needs new frontline fighter jets due to ongoing territorial disputes in the West Philippine Sea, as well as China's regional dominance. HAL is now stepping in to offer Tejas aircraft to PAF, which is expected to happen soon next month. Representatives from the Indian HAL company will pay them a visit and brief them about aircraft. The Tejas MK-1A is an advanced and will be a 4.5-generation fighter jet with long-range BVR missiles such as Astra MK-1 to 2 IR-3 and Iderbier, close combat missiles such as R-73, ASRAM, and Python-5, and anti-ship land attack cruise missiles such as Subsonic Nerve, Hunter ALCM, Hammer, and Supersonic Brahmos NG. It will also have an ELM-2052, a DEMISA radar, enhanced electronic warfare capabilities, a pylon-mounted erst, a more powerful mission computer, dual-rack pylons, an aerial refueling probe, simplified maintenance, and a lower radar signature. The Tejas MK-1A has a fly-by unit cost of around $42 million, which means it could be used instead of spending nearly $2.43 billion for 12 jets quoted by Lockheed Martin, and even more from Saab. PATH may purchase a fleet of 12 Tejas MK-1A jets for half the price of the deal. One advantage is that both the Tejas MK-1A and the F-A-50 are powered by the General Electric F-404 afterburning turbofan engine and are compatible with Israeli weapons and sensors, which reduces the additional costs associated with ground crew training and allows Filipino pilots who have completed the F-A-50 training program to easily transition to Tejas MK-1A fighters. Indian-built fighter jets are also being improved to make them better aircraft, with the latest avionics and weapons packages that will undoubtedly help the Philippines on the battlefield. Please let us know what you think about the Tejas aircraft for Philippines in the comments area.